All right, boys, welcome to the video. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to build an infinite S shape mushroom farm, which will fit nicely into the 10 building height block limit that was introduced a while ago. You're gonna need four empty plots for this farm to be infinite, but you will only have to build the farm on one plot and then you can paste the design all over the four plots and you'll be good to go. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's start building the farm. All right, so first things first, I want you to prepare four plots in a row. I've already done this off camera, so we don't have to bother with it on video but as you can see i have first mushroom second mushroom third mushroom and fourth mushroom i named them like this so it's more easy for me to figure out which one is which i've already emptied them out down to bedrock so we don't have to do this on camera but if you have to do it yourself i suggest you start digging it out with a gold shovel and use a builder's ruler and a block zapper i don't have a block zapper but you can buy it from the bits shop for 5000 bits it will help you get rid of some of the dirt but it has a cooldown so keep that in mind now we're gonna start the actual farm building this is the corner of my plot over here of my first plot i am gonna make a row of slabs all the way to the end over here. I'm gonna place them by hand because the builder roller doesn't work on bedrock. So once you reach the end, you are gonna count five blocks in the middle. So one, two, three, four, five. You're gonna leave one block at the end of each corner so you only count the middle ones. And after this, you're gonna do this row all the way to the end again. So this is basically how you do it. You just uh, put one row of slabs. This is the first uh, row of slabs you're gonna walk on when farming. And then you count five blocks. You put another row of slabs. You count five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. And then you do this again. Then you count one, two, three, four, five again. And you have to do this all the way to the end of the plot. I'm gonna fast forward this so you don't have to do this with me. After you finished placing all the slabs, now we're gonna place the mycelium or the puzzle. You can choose whatever block you want between those two. Both work for the mushroom planting. So for the mycelium placement, you just want to use your builder's ruler for this. I am using mycelium. You can use puzzle as well for the blocks. So just place a block down here. Right click on this. It will place it all the way to the end. And you just start placing your uh, blocks all the way to the corner over there. So once you're done placing the whole mycelium on the first layer, we're gonna start building the second one. So you're gonna count two blocks up from the mycelium layer, so one, two, and then you're gonna place your slab, and then one block up from the slab, you're gonna place your mycelium once again. So right here, I'm just gonna do the slabs with the builder's ruler. I just put my slabs in here and I'm gonna right click, and I don't need to place the slabs by hand anymore, so I'm just gonna do this real quick. Now that we've reached the end, we're just gonna break the support blocks right here. And now that we got the second row of slabs in order, we're gonna start placing the mycelium once again. I'm just gonna use some wood blocks for this. So now if you want to place the second mycelium layer, we're just gonna place a block right next to the slabs like this. And we're gonna right click with mycelium or puzzle or whatever in our builder's ruler and it's gonna do this all the way to the end and then we can use a builder's wand let me move my mycelium real quick and i can use a builder's wand to do this all the way to the end all right so now that you finished placing the whole mycelium on the second layer you're basically done for this plot we're gonna save this uh, as a preset and we're gonna paste it on all the four plots that we cleared out before. So I'm just gonna go over here, configure plots. I'm gonna get the first mushroom plot. So now we're gonna just click save preset. I'm gonna name this mushroom. And now that we saved it, we're gonna go on the second mushroom, click on this, and the design is gonna be pasted on the second plot. This plot just finished pasting. We're gonna have to paste it on the third and fourth plot as well. And after that, we can continue. All 
All right, third plot is now pasted. I'm gonna do the fourth as well, and then we can proceed. Let's just go over here, configure plots for mushroom, paste the mushroom design. So now all the plots are pasted. As you can see, this farm is huge. We're gonna start making the S shape. So first things first, we're gonna go around the corner and just seal all of them like this. If you find like an edge where you can't place your stuff, just use the builder's ruler for this. See, there you go. All right, so now that we sealed off the edges, we're gonna go to the other side and now that we're here we're gonna click on this there we go break this right open don't forget to do the bottom layer as well all right so now we're gonna start at the first row we're gonna break this to make the u shape where where we're gonna pass through it we're gonna place the slabs below here so we can walk right through it without any issue. So yeah, there we go. We want to have these slabs over here. And then we're, we're just gonna skip this row, break this. This is exactly like the wheat S-shape design. You gotta skip one and then go to the other, place the slabs, break uh, the mycelium to make space. And you just keep doing this until you reach the end. All right, so after you've done this first side, don't forget to do the second layer as well. I'm just gonna do that right now. So I just finished placing the slabs and making the U shape on this side. And now we're just gonna go at the first plot. And right over here, we're just gonna skip this uh, first. We're gonna skip this first row and do the U shape again. I'm gonna dig out the mycelium first. And after that, we're gonna start placing the slabs. All right, so I finally finished doing the U shape on the first plot and the last plot of the farm. So for the teleport pads, we're gonna go on the first mushroom plot and we're gonna place it in the starting uh, row right here. We're gonna break the slab and then place our teleport pad. We're gonna name it first mushroom start. This is how I name my teleport pads just to know because I have so many. And also I'm gonna go in this bottom row right here so I can place the other teleport pad. It's gonna go so the second teleport pad goes right under the first one on the second layer we're gonna place it and name it second mushroom start all right so now for the end teleport pads they're gonna be on the same side as the first ones like you can see the first ones go right here and then the last ones go right in the edge over here this one is named first mushroom end and it will teleport to second mushroom start and the bottom one is named second mushroom end and teleports to first mushroom start also next to the end teleport pads you're gonna have to add one block higher you're gonna have to add one block whatever block works i would add just another mycelium block because if you don't add this extra block you're not gonna get teleported right so with this extra block the teleport pad works just fine but if you don't have that block added the teleport pad is not gonna work so just add the extra block so after you place the teleport pads and did everything, you're basically done. The only thing that's left for you to do is now plant the mushrooms. You just go around like this and you place them on every two blocks, but they will grow in on all the blocks eventually, and you can just go around and farm them. The perfect speed for this farm is 233. If you want to farm this, you have to hold W and look at 120 degrees, and you just go around like this and you farm the mushrooms. And as you can see, I'm getting mushrooms and I'm getting the farming XP for them. You don't want to hit the last of the mushrooms. Like these ones on the last row, you don't want to hit. You want to leave them so as uh, so others can grow as well. So I would recommend you start placing uh, brown mushrooms on the top layer and red mushrooms on the bottom layer. So you can just go like this and you will have all the types of mushrooms that you need. And you just switch your fungi cutter type when needed. Yeah, that's pretty much it. The farm will fully work after you fully plant it. You'll have to plant it by hand because there's no basket of seeds for mushrooms. 
Alright boys, thank you for watching. If you're interested in more farm designs that I made, you can watch this video. It's all about my new sugarcane farm design. Again, I want to thank you for watching and have a great rest of your day.